What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. We back for the Real Madrid career mode, baby. And this is crazy, man, because as we stand right now, somehow Real Betis is the second best team in La Liga. And right when you thought you saw it all, my man, Aleti Club pulls up the third best team in the league. And then when you thought you... Nah, they tied with Barca. So Barca's in fourth and Atletico Madrid's in fifth. But my man at Real Betis, yo, with William Carvalho, the Portuguese CDM from Sporting, beasting and feasting. They got 10 games played, two losses, two, two draws, three losses. Real Betis doing it like Nike. Real Sociedad in seventh place. They don't get scored on, bro. They just don't get scored on. And then uh, the game that we have coming up is against Valencia. Valencia's in 10th place. Six wins, four draws, five losses. Bros, more importantly, we are here. We have arrived. Welcome to... No, we're not there yet. We're almost. We're super close. We're like on... Like Valencia, the Yellow Submarines, Villarreal. That's December, you know, 24th. Then we got the Christmas holidays. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Real Madrid's winning with the Champions League. That didn't really go, but you know what I'm saying. And then we had the freaking... The, 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 uh, what's that thing called? Um, that's the window, baby. Transfer window opened up. La Liga transfer window is gonna go down in January. So, bros, we're here, man. We've done it. What, do we sim these games or do we play these games? Ah, it's one of those things where I want to say, ah, I want to sim it, but I know y'all, Skills, why are you simming, Skills? I know, I know, mm-hmm, I know, mm-hmm. All right, so, um, ooh, this is tough, man. Uh, let's play the Villarreal, let's play the Valencia game. Yeah, let's play the Valencia game, okay? If we're going to send one, we're going to send the Villarreal game. Oh, no, Villarreal's in sixth place. Maybe we should send the Valencia game. Hey, these are two big games. Not one, but two big games in a row. Do we play both of them? Yo, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go out there. Yo, Hakimi has a red card, and now I got no right back. Oh, no, wait, I do got a right back. Yo, where's that one right back? I got a right back. I remember. There, my man. Let's go. I got it right back right here. What am I saying? Look, bang, bang, bang. Do we still need to pick up a right back? Out of it, how, man? Had to go and injure himself, bro. Come on, out of it, how? Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the, the, the Valencia game. I'm going to play the Valencia game. Let's get up in there, man. Let's play this Valencia game. One time for the people. Quick Valencia game. Smack Valencia all around, you know, the Real Madrid Stadium. We got our Cardi Hazard, Isco, Modric, Asensio, Neymar, Zito. Uh, You know who I don't like? James Rodriguez. Hey, are we selling James Rodriguez? Hey, one time for the people. Are we selling? I don't like him in this game. Let me tell y'all something, bros. He's hella slow, right? His, his reaction just slow. His uh, ability on the ball is slow. I mean, I think he just slows the team down. I thought bringing back James Rodriguez was like the GOAT move. When I did it, I was like, oh my God, they're going to be so happy with me. Um, but no, it's actually one of the worst decisions I've ever made. We should have left James Rodriguez where he was. But now we can sell him. So in the transfer window, I say we sell James Rodriguez and replace him. I know a lot of y'all are James Rodriguez fans, and you're probably like, Skills, why are you doing that, you know? Is it because he played for Porto? No, it's nothing negative about Ham. It's nothing negative, like, about James just in the game. I actually like James Rodriguez in real life. Just in the game, in the game, uh... I don't know, man. I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really liking him. So this Valencia team is in 10th place. I want to see their starting 11, real talk. Check this out. Top goal scoring teams, obviously. Oh, Barca right there with us. How are they in freaking fourth place? Real Betis with 27 goals for. Look at Neymar. Look at Neymar. Yes. Flex on him. Neymar beside his boy has flex on him. Hazard. Yes. Flex on him, bros. So I think we're going to sell James Rodriguez. I do think it's going to happen. James might be on his way out. Our lineup, I don't want to see our lineup. Can we skip to their lineup if I push A? Please let me see their lineup. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let me see. I hate that. They don't let you see their lineup. I hate when that happens. Can we pause the game and see their lineup? Let's see if we... Yeah, we can see their lineup like this. Let's go look at their lineup. So they got uh, Rodrigo up top. All right, the x play Fika, man. Luis Alberto. They got Candogbia, Parejo. This is a good enough team to be way, uh, way above freaking 10th place in the league. They're in a 4-4-2. We're in a 4-2-3-1. Custom formation, custom built by yours truly, Double A Nine Skills Arena. Look at the passing. Icardi. All right. I don't know if I should celebrate or not. No wonder they're in tenth place. Oh, go hug. Oh, oh, I never do this celebration. Go hug the people. Is that Junior? He's hugging Junior. He went to go give Junior a hug. Junior wanted a hug. He was feeling lonely. 
Junior was feeling lonely, and look at this, even in the rain, the supporters like, we don't care, bro, let the rain, let the rain come down, we there for you. This year, bro, is something else. I just, I just first time banged it. Defensively, Neto just wasn't there, the keeper just wasn't there, the center backs were too far apart, and it was hella easy, man. Look at that finesse, man. Around the, oh! Bottom net, oh! Too sexy, oh! Too easy, oh! Rodrigo looking for Luis Alberto, but my man Veron all over, but it falls to Luis Alberto and Courtois! Big D by Sergio Ramos. Let me send this one time to my man Neymar Zito. The Jets are activated. What do you do when you got Neymar Zito? You let it fly. Oh, I went for the low driven. Trying to knock it forward. Rocking the number seven gets a wannabe Cristiano. Sent back to Parejo. Sent inside to Rodrigo. Down to Condogbia. I should have scored moments ago in Neymar Zito. I should have scored seconds ago in Neymar Zito. I didn't score. And now Condogbia doing Condogbia type things. Rockets one right past the keeper. And now all of a sudden, just like that, just like that, y'all can cry me a river, all the Real Madrid fans, because we looking poor, we looking bad, we looking terrible. Here's Asensio, Hazard. I'm about to get fired, better score, let's go. Oh, I thought it went in. Ah, the way we're playing today, I'm about to get fired, bro. Valencia scored on us instantly off the post. Ah, we're going to lose first place. Don't do that. Don't do that. Icardi. My man Hazard. Back to Icardi in the box. Icardi! We haven't seen a lot of low driven scored around here, but oh, Icardi's doing the Suarez celebration. He's mocking the guys at Barcelona. The Suarez celebration is activated 40 minutes into the game. My man Hazard feeds Icardi, and Icardi one on one with the keeper. Low driven past the keeper. Let's go, boys. Nice pass to Luis Alberto. Courtois, they almost scored right back. Now, Gedge, they literally almost scored right back. That is unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. Here's Luis Alberto with the stepovers. Luis Alberto shoots from distance. Courtois grabs again. And at this point, I'm thinking, yo, let's just get out. Oh, goodness. Let's just get out to halftime. Valencia really trying to bring it to us now. I see you, Valencia. I see you. I see you, Valencia. Doing, doing, doing things that a team in the bottom 10 wouldn't do or in the at 10th place wouldn't do. I mean, they're beasting their feast. And why don't they play like this every game of the season? They would be in a way better position. Do I bring in Junior here? I bring in Lozano. I bring in Lozano for Asensio for the last 45. We need one more goal because I do feel like Valencia will score again 100%. Nice pass to Hazard. Hazard steps in, lets it go. Hazard! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The rocket from Hazard. Rocking the number seven. Making the entire stadium go crazy from outside the box. Just a rocket to that bottom post. To that back post. Look at that. Oh man. What a banger. Two for Icardi, one for Hazard. And that's the goal we needed. What do you do here? Hazard still with it. Still Hazard, drag back, Hazard again. Hazard lets it go, and Neto can grab that one. Another great chance for Real Madrid. Kind of a, a shot that you just shoot up there and you kind of shoot and pray. You kind of really hope that it goes in, but you know that's not going to go in. Valencia only have 30 minutes to get it right, man. They have 30 minutes to get it right. Otherwise, they're taking another loss on the season. Casemiro almost made a mistake. I send it all the way up to my man Lozano. Kind of his first touch of the game, it seems like. My man Neymar has not really been involved. Now he is. Neymar cuts inside. Neymar lets it rip. Oh, that's a banger. Neymar Zito doing Neymar Zito type things. Get it, boys. Yeah, yeah. Get it, boys. Yeah, yeah. Get it, boys. Hey, my man Neymar. Wow. I said Neymar not doing much. Cuts inside. Cuts up. Bangs it to the top bins. Woo. Bang and finish. So as I was here kind of not paying attention, this happened. Uh, I was kind of just seeing the game out. And my man Kondogbia again with a rocket from outside the box to make it. F what is that for a top bin finish? What the hell is that for a top bin finish, man? My boy Kondogbia doing Kondogbia type things. My goodness. 4-2, 82nd minute. We better see this game out because Valencia has been all over us this game. They have played a fantastic game. But with only seven minutes left in this one, six minutes now. I kind of see us walking out of here with a big boy dub. I really do, man. I really see us walking out of here with a huge dub. Let me cut back on him there. Big boy Icardi, I see you. I see you, Lozano. Let me slow it down. 
Lozano whipped into the middle towards Neymar. Hazard couldn't get there. Neither three more minutes, and I think that's a dub, man. I really do think that's a dub. Whipped into the back, all the way up the field. Luis Alberto keeps it live to Rodrigo. We clear this one. Let's go, ref. Come on, baby. I'm saying let's go. It's not even the 90th minute yet. There you go. Two minutes remaining. Hazard lose that game. Come on, ref. Just end it, man. Just end it. This game is done. This game is done, ref. Come on. Come on. That's it, ref. That's it. That's it. Ref. That's it. Doesn't matter. We won either way. They can't score two times. They might score once. Get it out. Let's go. One more time. Ref, come on. That's game. How is that not game? Let's go. That's huge, bros. That's exactly what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. We're going to simulate the Villarreal game, and we are on our way to the freaking transfer window opening up. Come on. All right, bros. Here we go, man. Here we go. We're going to simulate this Villarreal game. Um, I, I feel like a draw here would be good. Either way, we're going into the winter break. We're going into Christmas with being champions. The champions of winter time, if we can. Champions of the first, like, you know, the first go. The first roundabout. My man Neymar Zito finds the back in there. What we want here is an injury-free Sergio Ramos. Injury-free team. Ramos and Neymar Zito back in the net. Beasting and feasting. All we want to do is make it to the window so I can show you guys the players that are going to be on the way out. A lot of them will be a surprise to you guys. A lot of them will be like, oh, okay, we could have guessed that. But we win it 2-0. Top of the table, still chilling during the winter time. Feels good. Look at that. Beasting over Real Betis. And we are here. Transfer window. All right, bros. The window is here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly the moves I want to make. The players I want to release. The players I want to bring in. Well, players I want to bring in are really up to you. Do we chase a right back? Because we could sell Carvajal now. We could sell him. But as I go down the list, I told you guys I'm super sorry, man. I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad at me. But I'm super sorry for doing this. But I got to sell him. I have to sell him. He's on his way out the door 100%. I'd rather sell him and bring back... Um, uh, Kovacic. I would rather bring back Kovacic. So, James Rodriguez is now on the list to leave. Um, also going out the door at the moment. I wanted to sell him, but I can't. I cannot sell that back that backup striker of ours. Um, Asensio's not going nowhere. Hazard's not going nowhere. Junior, I think we're good everywhere else. Just That's the biggest move. James Rodriguez on his way out the door, man. I feel like that's the move that needs to be done. I kind of want to bring Kovacic back to the team. Kind of screw Chelsea over midway through the season and break, recall him back as a rotational player for us. And he'll take James Rodriguez's spot. Or maybe we replace James Rodriguez. Bros, as, as of right now, bros, in this window, we're rich, man. We are chilling with money, man. We got freaking $223 million without selling James Rodriguez. What moves do you guys want to make? Let me know in the comments down below. I am excited for this. Who do you guys want to bring in? Do we bring in a right back? Do we not bring in a right back? Like I said, we can sell Carvajal while he's injured. We could pull a move. Um, should we pull a move? Look, just list him up like that. You can sell him while he's hurt. Um, and then bring in a different right back. So we could do that as well if you guys want to. But I'm pretty excited with where the team is right now. I am not going to lie to you guys. Icardi, Hazard, Modric has been good. isco has been decent. Asensio, so-so. Neymar has been awesome. My defense, I feel great with just the right back position. If there's anything to fill, it's another right cam. I don't know. Asensio has been cool, bros. But if I could fill a right cam position like Hazard, Neymar, who? You know what I'm saying? Who's in that category that can play Cam, right? That's a huge name. I'm saying like KDB. <gasps> Yo, do we do we do it? Do we go full superstar? Modric, Isco, Hazard, Neymar, KDB, Icardi. Oh my goodness, it even rhymes. Hazard, KDB, Icardi. Oh, it rhymes, bros. We got to smash that thumbs up, bros. I'm going to end it there so I don't go too far so you guys can let me know what to do in the window. It is here. Transfer window is there. I know this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than normal, but I wanted to do that simply so you guys can tell me who to buy. Do we get a new right back or do we bring in KDB? If we sell James Rodriguez, we can afford KDB. If we sell Kyle how we bring in a different right back. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bing. Let's get it done. Smash that thumbs up. Make sure I love your faces. Thank you so much for taking the time out today to watch this video. Y'all the best, man. Booyah!